All right, figured I'd pull out the old um, VTuber avatar for you know for this one. So, figure I'll get straight into the topic. Oh, I'm trying to get my mouth in. Ah, there we go. Okay, yeah, I need to update this avatar. I'll do that eventually. Um, so the topic essentially is the oversexualization and all the things about it in specifically the anime and the VTube community. Now this is getting to kind of annoying where you know all the time if just say you're scrolling through YouTube, um, if you click on one VTuber, you're just gonna get swamped with all all of their videos and um, especially if it's a western one something about this something in the water in the west these western ones you're always going to get these clips like continuous uh, drips of these clips you know i keep away from them i think it's a moral test of um you know all this kind of sexual stuff that they're doing all this kind of um kind of cringy to some extent but um yeah a lot of like over sexualization essentially to the point where these people start to build their personality around sex and essentially getting sexual validation and that's really what it is i believe it comes from a sexual trauma within these people where they feel you know probably if i had to take a guess you know, a lot of people in the anime and vtube community weren't very successful in um, so their schooling days and you know, maybe they, they don't have any relationship experience or they don't have any sexual experience or whatever and um, so they of course have some kind of trauma there where they want to almost um, you know, overly express this to get rid of it because in the body physically you're trying to get blood flow there you're trying to get blood flow to the genitals to clear out the blockages that's what it physically is it's an actual like artery blockages tissue blockages etc it's, it's your blood and your spirit cannot flow there and people do this to kind of get rid of it now the opposite side of the spectrum is actually the audience i think the audience as well you know these people are probably a lot of um you know um, just say if it's a female vtuber they're men who are virgins say again no no wife um, and they're they're spiritually or psychically projecting onto this character uh, sexuality they're probably bringing it up and talking about all that they they're trying to like juice the sexual essence out of this person I don't kind of sense fucked up but um and that's what happens is that you're in a psychic relationship to some extent with your audience and if you have like just say a thousand people in a live chat room you're doing you know over youtube live or twitch or whatever that's a lot of psychic energy that's being thrown at you and you've got to kind of wonder if you just say you have a weak mind and a weak you know, psychic sense are you playing are you like doing what you're doing or are you just being played you know you're being played by a character by the audience so they collectively possessing you and that's an interesting thing in and of itself anyway i'll go a little deeper so we have the female and the male archetype of this and i think this happens a lot when people are young i would say a lot of these people you know in this community probably around the ages of like 18 um to you know the oldest would be like 23 24 and then i imagine they kind of you know, branch out with other communities at least that's when I got out of it. I was, you know, disinterested in all this stuff you know, around then. I still, you know, I still, you know, I love art and I love all that stuff. So, you know, it's kind of close to my heart. But um, the female archetype specifically is usually a woman who is trying to use her sexuality, is trying to use um, that to build a personality of and to try to make herself seem like a very um, sexual woman, a very um, erotic woman, you know, very beautiful erotic woman, but also a very sexual woman, um, constantly talking about sex, constantly talking about um, sexual matters and such. And the man, I've seen this a lot, is actually a kind of like a pickup artist archetype, like a, like a player or a fuckboy archetype. And of course, as a man, I see this on other men, and I'm like, oh, please, no, it's so cringy. It's like, yeah, I'm a super alpha fuck boy, uh, uh, fuck, what's the rest? Pick up artist, I'm a teacher, you bitch. Oh, 
please, no, please. Oh. All right, and the main message, because this is really a video to young people. Now, of course, I'm not doing it on TikTok. I don't have TikTok, so <laughs> probably no young people are going to watch it. But the message is if you're a woman, you don't have to gain sexual validation from others. You don't have to be a slut. Which it really, that's what it is. Um, you know, we're gonna call a spade a spade. It's a slut. Uh, the pickup artist for men, that's a slut as well. And this shit makes you unmarriageable because you know why? As an older person, um, I'm not really that old, but you know, as a, as a, like a few years older than probably these people, I look at them and I think, you know, if I was looking for a wife, I would not pick you anymore. You have, you have done some nasty shit you've gotten yourself in some kind of demonic sexual relationship with the, with your you know your video audience essentially your social media um and i simply wouldn't pick them as a wife anymore similarly if a woman was trying to pick a husband would you really pick a guy who makes videos talking about how fucking alpha and how many women he's fucked and how you have to you know you, oh you gotta treat them like shit you gotta you know you gotta do this you gotta all women are bitches and oh fuck all you would you really date a man who does that i wouldn't if i was a woman and i'm not a woman of course but um but I think that's really cringy the same way as a man. I'm not going to date some woman who, um, it's like, oh, okay, oh, hey, um, what are you, what are you doing, sweetie? Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, having my, um, strange internet social relationship talking, trying to, uh, lure in all of these, you know, uh, beta virgins, you know, try to get their money. It's like, oh, uh, yeah, okay, that's a little fucked up. Um, so yeah, those are the two archetypes is that basically that, that women, because they're trying to, it's really about beauty. I think a lot of it is also about beauty and validation and looking pretty. And the man, it's trying to be cool. It's trying to be high status. It's trying to be like, yeah, I'm the fucking king. Um, but that's the two, those are the two archetypes, the two relating archetypes in this field. <clears throat> Anyway, I think a lot of this relates also to the things like OnlyFans and what I see in the future, which is basically Uber fuck, which is, you know, you've got Uber Eats, you'll have Uber fucks, which is um, basically a digital prostitution app um, where, where people will sell themselves and be like, cool, who's in the area? It's kind of like Tinder across between OnlyFans. That's what I see. And I think it'll get so inflated, um, I mean deflated, or so, what do you call it, oversaturated that um, I think, you know, people will be selling themselves like 10 bucks. Anyway, that's not a nice topic. But that's like the ultimate, that's like the, you know, you get the bad ending in a game. That is the bad ending for this scenario. So, uh, yeah, what basically what, what needs to be done? Well, I think we need to start becoming more conscious and more um, basically clean. It's like cleaning laundry. We need to start cleaning the laundry of sexuality. And that really starts with taking a good look at yourself. You know, what are you doing? Um, and even if you are in the sex field, you know, there's a lot of things in the sex field. There's, of course, there's prostitution and there's erotic um, content. Uh, you know, erotic voice content, erotic pictures. You could be drawing erotic pictures. You could be making erotic um, videos or animations. It could be not of you, but also you know some kind of art. And um, if you are a person making erotic content, it's very important not to make bad erotic content. I don't mean bad artistically. I mean bad as in bad for the morally bad, you know, soulfully bad things like rape and cheating and um, and, and you know, kind of any kind of sexual degeneracy that causes some, you know, personally, uh, I'll leave that for another video actually. Any all this kind of stuff, you know, if you are involved in this um, you know, sexual production field, and that's like that's like your soul's thing, because there are some people, you know, they're born to be a war essentially, and it's not a nice thing, and maybe they probably aren't actually, who knows, you know, all the trauma involved, but um, if that's like someone they've decided that's what they want to do, you know. Um, of course, we can't control people, but what they need to do is create things which aren't evil, essentially, aren't demonic. <clears throat> you know, the best you can do with that. And of course, it's kind of like being an ethical drug dealer, essentially. <laughs> it's like, don't spike your drugs, you know, don't don't spike with laundry detergent or some shit like that. Your baking powder, I don't know. Um, similarly, if you are in a big social 
you know, if you are a, a creator, content creator, you have to look at yourself and not seek sexual validation from your audience. You don't need to be sexually validated. It's the same thing with the idea of the slut phase and the man, it's the opposite. It's, he's a pickup phase, essentially. Um, we don't need to do this. You know, we, we can purify that side and that part of ourselves. Um, you know, personally, I, I believe in, you know, monogamy and, and, and the no sex to a marriage and, you know, you, you, you just, you build a strong relationship with the person before you, you engage in sex. And that's basically how you avoid this whole thing. Um, you know, that's, that's my morals, you know, it's probably not going to work for everyone, but, you know, who knows. Um, but yeah, we basically have to, as, as, you know, video making people or writers or whatever, we have to, um, tackle sexuality in a, excuse me, in a good way, in a non, you know, traumatic way. And we have to clear the traumas within our bodies. They are stored, a lot of it is stored within, you know, the genitals and the sexual organs, which is why a lot of the time why people do this stuff. It's why a lot of the time why um, people feel the need to, you know, go through some kind of war phase, go through some kind of slut phase or something. <clears throat> to get that out of them almost or because culture tells you to because there's so much culture around you which says hey you know do this do this you know you've got to take drugs you've got to party you've got to you got to you waste your money and get in debt all this bullshit then people become unmarriageable um then people you know they become they take on trauma and stds and all this bad shit so at the end of the day you know they're at square one. they're really at square one again they've used they've, they've you know the trauma has controlled them and the trauma has uh, basically eaten them so anyway this is just a little analysis um i don't know if you know, i imagine other people if you're in this kind of community have seen let me open my mouth ah i've seen ah these things <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you know it's 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 annoying to you as well at least as an, a slightly older person i can see you this shit you know you, you can't hide this shit from me i know exactly what's going on you know i see this shit a mile away and it's really annoying it's like oh I'll look at a vtuber person maybe i'll check their videos and see what they do you know um and then it's like oh you will fuck me daddy um and i'm like oh well, another one to the trash bin, essentially. Another young person who's uh, thrown themselves away by... This is essentially the E-slut the, the e slut phase, you know, the, the virtual slut phase, you know, to some extent. That's what it is. So, another one to the trash, essentially. But, um, anyway, there are much more healthy ways to deal with sexuality. And I will have a video out soon detailing it so we can, you know, improve ourselves of course anyway uh, i hope you enjoyed the video feel free to check the links in the description feel free to email me or comment if you want feel free to donate and of course if you want to buy shit from me i have uh, all my stuff at Gumroad and fiverr mainly and books albums divination etc and i hope you enjoyed this video uh, of course have a nice day and goodbye